Hi NYOU, my name is Drew Dansby and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. In 2017, I was a cellist in NYO for its Latin America tour and this summer I'm returning to the orchestra as a violinist. My breakthrough moment didn't come from a coach or conductor or private teacher, but it instead came from a dance instructor at a middle school music camp. She shared the quote, music is the space between the notes. This quote by the composer Claude Debussy has stuck with me ever since. No other statement has had such a pervasive impact on my growth and perspective as a musician. I came to realize that while composers provide the notes written on paper, our job as performers is to explore the in-between, that is, how these notes connect when they're converted to sound waves. Every performer has a unique way of weaving connection and direction into music. We create meaning from what is very simply a collection of 12 distinct tones arranged in varying permutations and durations. Here are four tips for tapping into your unique sense of musical connection. Tip one, think emotions. The most important thing to remember is that in music, connection plus direction equals emotion. As performers, we have to draw a distinct emotion with every phrase. The ability to inspire emotion through a piece of music is very empowering to musicians, but we must remember that emotions are extremely fragile. If a single note doesn't match the direction or the character of the rest of the phrase, the musical line is fractured, and so is the emotion it evoked. The audience will become frustrated or bored if they can't sense the direction of the music especially if they never heard the piece before. Identify the overall character of the phrase that you want to portray. It could be nervousness, or power, or anger, or longing. Make every note and every silence match this longed-for sound quality. Even sforzandos and accents don't have to stick out as interruptions, but they can still be surprising and powerful, and they should bend the underlying emotional fabric of the music. As another example, think of a subito piano not as a sudden palpitation in loudness level, but rather as an echo or reflex of the more powerful notes before it. Tip two, play consistently. Consistency is the key to connection. Consistency does not merely mean to play everything the same. In melodic lines, it generally means sustaining notes as much as possible and making the quality of the end of each note match the beginning of the next note. To practice sustaining notes, pay attention to tools like bow speed, bow pressure, and vibrato. Vary these tools within notes to make a phrase more interesting. But as you are transitioning between notes, you only have to change the direction of the bow. Decays, sudden swells, and arbitrary accents on downbows are common pet peeves of string musicians that might sound nice under the ear, but really only serve to disrupt the musical line or phrase. In more marcato or staccato passages, even though you aren't connecting notes in the same way as a lyrical line, you can still make sure you use a consistent bow stroke. Make your phrase of shorter notes lead somewhere by varying the length of the notes or by gradually using more bow pressure as the phrase progresses. Tip three, crescendo on every note. This concept is so useful, my quartet mates back at home refer to it as Cohen. This is not actually advice to be taken literally, but a way of thinking that enforces the concept of each note leading into or connecting to the following notes. Performing this exercise not only creates forward momentum in the phrase, but also allows you to focus on the quality of each note individually. Tip four, take your time. In the practice room, it is essential to take your time with every note to make sure it connects the phrase and fits the musical character you have in mind. It is very important to practice slowly 
taking your time to deliberately stretch and string each note into the musical line. If a variation of dynamics or articulation seems too sudden when you play a phrase up to tempo, work on making the phrase more uniform. In a nerve-wracking performance, even playing up to tempo is essential to take your time with each phrase. Silences and notes both last a lot shorter than you think when you're nervous, so embrace silences and long phrases. Sustain notes to their breaking points. When preparing a piece, if you're not sure whether to stop a phrase or keep it going, keep it going. Literally stretch time. Remember, phrases that might seem long to you, the performer, because of their amount of notes or technical difficulties, in reality only last a few short seconds. Next time you practice solo, chamber, or orchestral repertoire, try to fashion a super long phrase over multiple lines of music. Build up the emotional tension as long as you can by intently connecting each note to the next. Your quest is to provide an emotional experience for the listener and to keep them on the edge of their seat as much as possible. In this way, connection between notes leads you, the performer, to form an important personal connection between you and your audience. This is ultimately what being a musician is all about. So to review, tip one, draw out a distinct emotion with each musical phrase. Remember that emotions are fragile and put yourself in the shoes of someone in your audience who's never heard your piece before. Tip two, sustain notes as much as you can and consistently play the end of each note like the beginning of the next one. Tip three, practice crescendoing on every note to create musical momentum. Tip four, take your time mindfully stretching out phrases both in practice and performance. Create emotional tension to make the music interesting for your audience. Thanks so much for joining me for this NYOU mini masterclass on connection and music. This is Drew Dansby signing off.